Welcome back to Math with Miss Ashline. Today we're going to be looking at the distributive property. So the distributive property is a good strategy to use when you are multiplying larger numbers. So I'm going to do 3 times 2,549. When using the distributive property, we are going to use parentheses. I'm going to keep the 3 the same in every set of parentheses. So parentheses 3 times blank, parentheses 3 times blank, parentheses, parentheses 3 times blank, and one more because I'm going to use the place values from 2,549. So I have four sets of parentheses set up for the four digits in that second number. I'm going to break it up into place value. This is a, the digit 2, but it's in the thousands place. So 3 times 2,000. The 5 is in the hundreds place, 500. The 4 is in the tens place, so 40. And the 9 is in the ones. Now I'm going to have to multiply all these numbers, and they look really scary because they're really big numbers, but that's okay. We're going to do some magic. We're going to cover up the zeros. 3 times 2 is 6. There's three zeros at the end. 3 times 5 is 15, with two zeros at the end. 3 times 4 is 12, with one zero at the end. And 3 times 9 is 27. Now I'm going to take all these numbers, 6,000, 1,500, 1, 120, and 27, and I'm going to add them all up. It's really important that when you're adding large numbers like this that you line up the place values. So you have your ones all together, your tens all together, the hundreds are all together. So it'll look like that. Zero plus zero plus zero plus seven. Zero, zero, two, and two is four. Zero, five, and one is six. Six and one is seven. 7,647. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, this distributive property looks a lot like the area model. Well, it is a lot like the area model because when we use the area model, we break it apart into the place values. It's just going to be sideways. I hope this helps with the, with the distributive property. Have a great day, dolphins.